Good morning, everybody. Today is a fabulous Tuesday, and it is gorgeous outside. If you have not been outside yet, you should take a cup of coffee and your phone so you can watch us and go sit outside. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I love that. That was great. That was great. Get your cup of coffee, go sit outside, and watch us. Yeah. yeah. You want to wait? Don't forget your phone. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> I love it. Enjoy the weather and watch us make you laugh. <laughs> Yeah, uh, trying a new look today. Let me know what you think. If I should uh, keep wearing my glasses or just be blind when I'm doing the show because I take them off. <laughs> Why do you take them off? Uh, honest, I, 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 I don't, I don't care to see the little light in the. Like I have beautiful eyes, and I like you guys to see my eyes and not the the camera or the. The light that's reflecting in my glasses right now. <laughs> <laughs> if it bothers you, but just yeah. go ahead and take off the glasses. No. It's okay. I actually like it's being okay. able take to it see off. though. Take, too. Oh, you know. <laughs> so why are we not wearing contacts today? Uh, so I've just been having some allergy issues, and my eyes have been kind of irritated, inflamed, Growly. Yeah, they're they're not very ha- like just actually this one. <laughs> It's just this one. Just one. Um, yeah, if you actually look back a couple episodes, you can actually look and see that my eye is actually darker. Like, it's not as white as my other eye. Uh, yeah, I noticed it because I knew it was happening. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> but, yeah, so that's why I haven't been wearing my contacts. And okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how we're starting Sometimes the morning. you just need a break. allergies, <laughs> glasses, lights, and go outside and drink some coffee and watch us. Enjoy the weather. You're welcome. Do it. Enjoy <laughs> the weather. Because, I mean, oh, man, it was so good. It was so cold. It felt like fall. And then now today, it was, I walked outside and I was like, oh, I could actually wear a t-shirt and shorts. And it'd be perfectly fine. No. I'd, yes. It was so just, it's that perfect jogging weather. Oh, it is that. But I don't yeah. know if I would do it in shorts. <laughs> oh, I would wear shorts today. If I did not have to come to the office, I totally would have been in shorts yeah, today. Yeah, you do have your, your t-shirt on today. I, yes. Yes, yeah. I did. So I woke up, I was like, I'm wearing a t-shirt. I'm going to wear a t-shirt and tennis shoes. How do I make it look professional? Throw a sports jacket on it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, so we, we, you know, that one of the fun things about prepping for this show is you and I get to have a lot of conversations that the audience is just not privy to. <laughs> Just not privy to. And um, we, we, we might get to that point. We, we should might. have a behind the scenes. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. Right? Like, turn on the cameras first and just and just let people see, oh, that's uh-huh. that's what behind the scenes looks like. Like, turn on the cameras, like, you know, five minutes, ten minutes before right. the show actually starts. So, I have a question for you, Lindsay. Yes. With your kids, <laughs> when you say it's time to get ready for bed. Mm-hmm. Do they listen? Does one get more excited over the other? Does, do do they both just calm down? Like, what is it, what is it like in the Smithian household? Right. So, um, first there's a groan, like, oh man. From, from which one? Both. Oh, really? (laughs) More Lexi than Tristan. Okay. Um, but, and then it's, and then it's kind of, it's, it's a, it's a Russian roulette. One of them usually. (laughs) Not a gamble. A Russian roulette. Well, because you also have a dad in the mix. <laughs> He's also part of this Russian roulette. You never know oh which gosh. one is going to fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. But morning, Amber. Them, morning, Mike. One of them gets really excited and, like, starts thinking it's playtime. So either, you know, dad is like, okay, let's race to the bedroom. And I'm like, no. <laughs> Calm down time, not race time. <laughs> we don't need to race to the bedroom or... You know, um, like they'll, they'll, dad will already be sitting in their bedroom getting ready for prayers and Tristan will barrel roll into him or Lexi will jump on his back or, you know, just, the, yeah, just, it never, you so never prayer know. time at the Smithian's house re- <laughs> requires barrel rolls <laughs> and jumping on people's backs. Interesting. Yes. Well, that's not, that's pre-prayer. <laughs> oh, that's pre-prayer. We're, we're amping up. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. Oh, that is greatness. That's it? That's all you have? What What's going on with that? 
I don't know. It looks like it's stuck on my face. <laughs> I mean, it's a great shot of my face. Don't get me wrong. So we, we, we watch our feed uh, just to make sure, you know, we're able to keep up with the comments. And it's kind of stuck it's on my face. Nick going like, oh, la <laughs> oh, There we go. That's better. Um, yeah. So then we, then mom, you know, wrangles them all in. Okay, it's time to sit down. We're saying prayers. And we all sit on the floor usually or Lexi's bed because Tristan has bunk beds and it's just very uncomfortable to sit on his bunk mm-hmm. bed. So um, we sit down, usually one kid in each parent's lap and we say prayers. Nice. Together, yeah. What do you guys do? Oh, no, 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 no. We're not going to go into the whole thing. Do? What so, do your kids do? So when, when, say, when it's, when it's time it's to go to bed. Time for bed. It is, it is the both for, they both ask, do we get to watch a bluey first? Mm. Right. Can I watch the bluey? Mm hmm. And then it's, and then it's London being great London, just walking around, getting ready for bed, putting on her jammies, putting her clothes in her hamper, you know, get ready to brush her teeth, mm-hmm. brush her hair. Isla, if Isla's at an eight, okay, hear me. If Isla's <laughs> at an eight, um, she ramps up to a 23. A 23. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> if I was like, I'm tired. I'm ready to go to bed. Okay, time for bed. <gasps> Let's go play. <laughs> then, <laughs> like, up the stairs, across. And then in the bedroom, she's running laps and jumping on her bed and then jumping on sister's bed and then jumping from sister's bed. She's almost made this now. She can go from sister's bed across the bedroom Onto her bed. Oh my goodness! She's almost That's made this a, jump. That's quite a feat. That's it's, like four and a half feet. Yeah, I, feet? probably more like five feet. Five wow. feet, and it's a different elevation. And right now, right now, she's she's landing right in front of the bed, and her hands are landing on the bed. And I'm like, ooh, this girl's gonna get it one day, and she's gonna be like, oh my god, so look excited. what I can do, yeah. and it's gonna or be she's boom, gonna, boom, 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 she's gonna bounce off, like <laughs> right have a little the bounce wall. right into the wall, like. <laughs> <laughs> her feet are uh, gonna just so, propel her into that wall. <laughs> so just, just it, if it does, if but it does happen, <laughs> I am going to be taking a picture of the wall and saying, "This is the guard side life." Like, as, as, if you want to come join our family, you want to spend some time with us, you better be ready for this kind of level <laughs> of energy. Little, little, little energetic. <laughs> <laughs> a little energy bunny. Yeah. Yep. Energizer bunny. Even Sydney's got that energy going. Man. Ooh, right. We were over oh, our, after dinner last night. Having a little playtime, the kids playing together, and Sydney was just bouncing from one adult to another to get she her to does. do what she wanted. Oh her yes, to do. oh yes, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. It was the funniest thing. It, it's it's interesting because you know, be because of Isla, London has now had to get faster at running. Uh, London's had to get you know a bit more aggressive with her sports. She's learning how to learning how to share right. Mm-hmm. And Isla is now learning how to toughen up because London's a little bit stronger than her. Mm -hmm. And Isla's like, no, I want to win. And then here comes Sydney, right? Like, wait, you walk on two legs? I'm going to walk on two legs. (laughs) Like, hey, we need to practice this. Like, I can can see the internal competition already happening. And unlike other parents who might shut it down, absolutely not. I am pushing it. Mm -hmm. I am absolutely, I'm saying, great, your sister beat you. You better beat her next time because, because life, life is not nice. Life is not nice. Mm -hmm. Now, granted, when when you have the competition, of course, the the sisters are going to love each other, you know, and we have those conversations afterwards, but in the heat of the moment, no, let them learn how to compete. Right. Let them learn how to compete among us, among family. So when they go compete in the real world, they understand the boundaries that go along with it. Right. Mm, That's good. Like, uh, like L- London was running and London, <laughs> she wants to win. So she's going to put her arm out there and try to stop Isla from passing her. And sometimes Isla will, will just shut down. No, you move that arm out of the way. You figure out how you get back in front of your sister. Mm-hmm. Like, like this world, this world is not nice. Yeah. You need to learn how to compete. Right. And do it. Do I get mad at London for, you know, trying to hold back her sister? Absolutely not. She's learning how to be competitive. If you go, go watch a soccer game. It happens all the time. Oh, I know. Right? Amber, soccer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. I was a crazy chicken. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Amber, you missed it getting into the car today. London was pretending she was a chicken. It was funny. It was hilarious. She's going to lay an egg and she goes, <laughs> 
Oh, that right, right, right. <laughs> All right. So that's that, that's that. Yeah, ho- hopefully, hopefully you got some kind of parenting <laughs> thing. Like, oh my God, it's not just me as a parent. I'm not the only one struggling. Mm-hmm. So hopefully, us sharing these stories. And you know, if you have some good stories that you want to share about your kids, okay. Now, please understand, I, I'm not I'm not looking at you you bashing your kids, okay? Because yeah. some parents will come here the the want to um just vent about their kids. I'm not asking you to vent about your kid on, on social media. Don't do that. Um, I'm asking you like, if, Hey, if you have like fun things that you want to share about your kids and some learning life experiences, come on up. Yeah. We, we have, we have a whole setup here. C- come be a guest. Okay. Because other parents need to hear that, that other parents need to hear that other parents are having the same struggles. Yeah. You're not alone in this. And we're all in this together. We're all learning together as parents. And you might have like, the solution for my problem. <laughs> so please come. <laughs> so, so, so something that we know works, but we use it, we use it very, very sparingly is sleepy time tea, mm. sleepy time tea, which is a little bit of honey. And boy, does that, that, that will settle them down. But, but I kind of like Isla's energy. Like, because it's, it's, that's me. That is absolutely me coming out. That burst of energy of, <laughs> oh my gosh, let's get things done. That is absolutely uh-huh. me. So, yeah. nah, you know, if, 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 you, <laughs> if, if, if you need to, if you need some help with putting your girls down or putting your kids down or putting your boys down, you know, try a little sleepy time tea with a little, with a little hint of honey. My kids like the uh, apple cinnamon tea with some honey. There you go. Right. And then you want to what parents? You can't sleep. Try some sleepy time tea with some honey. <laughs> It'll put you out. Like you don't need to take the melatonin pills or vitamins or whatever it is. Just try a little sleepy time tea. It'll work. It will work. And if it doesn't work, eh. <laughs> <laughs> so, so helpful. Thank, I thank know. You. <laughs> I know. I know. Because I'm going to get someone in the comments like, oh, I've tried sleepy time tea and it didn't work for me. It, that, that's okay. Just because it didn't work for you doesn't mean it's not going to work for someone else. Right. And maybe you just need to find a different tea. Maybe there you a different go. Brand, right? There's I mean, different levels of quality. I have different companies. So. I, I have a friend. His name is Nolan. You want to put him to, when he when he needs to sleep, he will drink a Dr Pepper. Caffeine puts him to sleep. Mm, I know people like that. That is the craziest thing to me. I'm like caffeine. I'm wide awake. Yeah, caffeine doesn't affect me. <laughs> I have an immunity to caffeine. <laughs> oh, you're like Amber. Amber yeah. can do that. Amber could drink a cup of coffee. Five minutes later, just go, I'm going to take a nap now and gone. Yeah. How did you do that? <laughs> I drink. I drink. Nick, go take a nap. I can't. I've had cold brew. It's just not going to happen. <laughs> just not. I I am sensitive to caffeine and I love it. I'm, yeah. Mm-hmm. Lindsay's immune. I am because I've been on caffeine since I was in my mommy's belly. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> You <laughs> grew Just up on caffeine. I you wonder what I, I was went... born like I was made with caffeine in my blood. <laughs> <laughs> that explains so much. So much. <laughs> uh, Dustin. <laughs> Did she disclose this? <laughs> yeah. No, like like Amber. So I do remember like Amber would tell stories about how Amber's mom, uh, Deb, would bring her you know, just a, a little bit of coffee in, in the morning to help her just enjoy her morning wake up. Mm-hmm. I wonder if London would like that, oh, but I'm not going to do coffee. I would do like a hot chocolate. Mm. Ooh, London would probably love that. Hey, I brought some hot chocolate in this morning. She's going to expect it every time. Oh, so I, sure know, I know. I know. I know. Right. Nick. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I do Ooh, that I once. Like this. <laughs> Let's do this every morning. Daddy. I know. Right. <laughs> oh, that's greatness. <laughs> All right, so that, you want to know what parents? You know, what do you do to help help your kids get up and just start that morning on the right foot? Like, do you do you bring in some hot chocolate? Do you bring in like uh, a kid's version of coffee? Like, do you bring in like a little treat? My kids like milk and cream. I don't do that in the morning, but they they enjoy to drink it. Yeah, there you go. Right, like, do you bring in some kind of a like what what is the drink or, or snack that you bring in to just help them start that morning on a? Hey, I'm gonna have a positive morning today. I don't do that. I cover my kids in kisses. That's how I wake them up. <laughs> yeah, my daughter would slug you. She would. Yeah, she would. She's, she's not, a growly she's cat in like the that. morning. <laughs> she does not. Growly my kids cat. Love it. <laughs> and and my husband, he he tickles them, like he gets daddy spider out. Oh my goodness! And he tickles them. 
my cat might bite him. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We do not have the challenges that you face in the morning. <laughs> my girls, my girls are just like my wife in the morning. Mm. They, she, it, my wife needs her time, needs her, like I've started waking London up a good five minutes earlier just so she has that time to get ready and up and running. Yes, Amber, she was the same. Like my mom actually has toned her, her caffeine intake down. If you can believe it. <laughs> so. Oh, right. Yeah, but you see, if you snuggle the cat, Amber, then she just goes right back to bed. Yeah. Try to get the kid up. Yep. Ah. That's tough. I want to know, parents. What, what do you do? What, what do you do ooh, that helps you get, you ooh, know, ooh, ooh, I had an idea. Ooh. Sometimes I. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> so after I cover them with kisses, then I start massaging their arms to kind of help make their muscles wake, make, wake their muscles up. Mm-hmm. And it, you know, just kind of like that. Because you're, you're so comfortable. So, like, wake their muscles up and just kind of aggressively give them, massage. Give them some Not squeezes. aggressively, but, like, squeeze them. and Just squeeze on them. Get the blood flowing. Get the squeezes yeah. on. Yeah. That might work for Isla. <laughs> Not, I don't know about my cat. Glenn says tickle them with the lights on. That's how he gets the sun up. Yeah. You're right? Tickles. Yeah. With that blanket off. <laughs> oh, no, you do not. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I don't do that. <laughs> That's just cruel. <laughs> hey, Glenn, I do believe you're going to be in town soon, brother. We need to make sure that we catch up and get some lunch, my friend. Mm-hmm. Lunch, drinks, happy hour, whatever. You know, whatever makes you happy, bro. <laughs> so, all right, we're going to hop over to a little marketing stuff real quick. Um, YouTube. YouTube yes. is going after the number one thing on TV. You ready? YouTube is going to bring live stream shopping to their platform. So what what does that mean? That, what, what does that mean? Is, is, this, is this the Home Shopping Network 2.0? Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> like, how smart that is? Because Instagram's like, we're going to allow shopping on our platform. Good. Uh -huh. YouTube's like, well, we have the largest video platform ever. Why do we not let people shop on YouTube? Now, here's mm -hmm. the question. When you go to make your purchase, does YouTube, will YouTube be like, hey, thank you for shopping on YouTube. We're going to keep a percentage of your purchase, mm -hmm. right? Because they already show ads. Right. Right. Um, they get ad, other ad revenue. So now if I want to sell product A on YouTube and people purchase it through YouTube, right? Is YouTube going to be like, great. Yeah, we want a percentage of that sale. Could this be another revenue source for YouTube? Or are they going to be like, hey, no, we, we appreciate you creators. We already show our ads. We're kind of okay right now. Uh -huh. Go ahead and just, you want, if I were to roll it out, I would probably roll it out with no fees and on the front end. And then if it really takes off, just like YouTube does, oh, we're going to start a little 1% fee now. Mm. Because now, now you're on the platform. You're not able to go anywhere else. You've built your audience on the platform. And now we're going to start charging. That's shady. That's business. I don't like shady business. That's not shady <laughs> business. It's not shady business. Absolutely not. That is going, oh, there's a revenue stream. Let, let's partake in it. I don't, I'm not saying I like it. I'm it, just saying. It's going to be a revenue stream. Absolutely it is. Why if, wouldn't they just do that up front? Well, and that's a, that, that's the thing, right? Um, because if you do it up front, you, you might you might hinder some early adopters. I mean, just look look at any business, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. you, if, you, if you're an early adopter, you normally get in at a better rate. You normally get in with less fees. Oh. And then as something goes mainstream, the price starts going so, up. So do those early adopters... Never have to pay that fee. No, no, no. Okay, so so some In companies, a typical situation. Some companies like mm -hmm. Firearms Legal Protection, right? Let's just go with that example. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you got in Firearms Legal Protection a couple of years ago, you got locked in. Like they they have a guaranteed rate lock. You never pay the new prices, even as new uh, services and products roll out, right? But you get access to those new services and products. Correct. YouTube does not do that. They say great. Thank Everybody you all. Gets Everyone new gets pricing. these new rules. Everybody gets new rules. And, and they kind of have to do it because, you know, we're, we're Farms Legal Protection. That's a national company. Mm -hmm. Google is an international company. Mm -hmm. And if you start playing YouTube? favorites like that, did Not, I say YouTube? You said Google. Oh, sorry. YouTube is an international company with, with, with a lot of different regulations in every country. And if you start trying to play that, you're going to wind yourself up in a lawsuit. That's so, true. So you just streamline it. Hey, everyone is now this. Hmm. So, 
I think it's going to be great. I think it's a smart, it's a very smart idea. I'm interested to see how they roll it out. I'm really surprised that they waited this long. Right. Because, like, you should have rolled this out in July. Worked out all I the feel kinks. Like it should have been done years ago. Well, it, but still. So, let's just say we, we only had two. Yes. You want to know what? <laughs> if you had done this over the pandemic... YouTube, the, the creators on YouTube would have made a killing uh-huh. because YouTube views have gone through the roof, right? you know? But even before that, like the home, yes, there's the home shopping network, but you're missing a huge demographic because there's, you're, you either, you have people that watch TV on TV and you have people that watch shows on YouTube. Mm-hmm. And you're missing that huge demographic of shoppers mm-hmm. and impulse buyers or of like, oh, that's a cool product. I need that. Right. Like, why? Well, I, I think this has been kind of led by Instagram. I, I don't think Google's run point on this. I think this is being led by Instagram. Google. YouTube. So uh-huh. understand. You got Google on the brain? What's, no, no, no. Go- Google, Google? <laughs> Google and YouTube are, are, are one and the same, right? They yeah. are the same mm-hmm. company. So when I just think Google. So okay. yes, thank you. Thank you for correcting me. So I think this is being led by Instagram. I think mm-hmm. Instagram's like, great, we're allowing shoppers on our platform. And YouTube is going, okay, um, Instagram's doing this. We need to get into this now and make sure that we're not reactionary. I Which I guess they kind of they are being reactionary are. because yeah. because e- even because now Instagram is now going to be allowing this on Facebook, right? Mm. You can now shop if you have your catalog set mm. up correctly on Facebook um, w- within your business ecosystem. And if you don't know what that means, that's why you need to be using us. But you, you're going to be able to now purchase off of Instagram, purchase directly from Facebook, and YouTube is looking at that, and I'm like, ooh, we need to be part of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. They're missing out. So that's really good. Um, so I, I was reading an article today and I completely disagreed with this article because they literally missed 50% of, of the direction that they were trying to say of the, of the content. They, they so why don't you start at the okay. beginning? Sorry. <laughs> So, so I was reading this article and it was talking about social proof okay. and, and how you need to make sure that you're posting. You need to make sure that you're, you're doing your engagement. And then they came out with this massive number for social proof. Like you should be paying X dollars. And the number was so, it, the number was four figures, but like high four figures. Really? It was, it was so close to $10,000 and they might have, they should have just said 10 grand per month. Uh-huh. For social proof. And I'm sitting here and I'm looking at it and I'm like going, mm, no. Okay, so just FYI. And and I'm going to do a way that better job. be some dang good <sighs> right, social proof. Right, right. That makes no sense to me. <laughs> um, so social proof. Social proof is where you're, is, is where you're, you're putting content on social media. Mm-hmm. So when someone, maybe, maybe you're door knocking, maybe you're a contractor, maybe your, your business is more on Google. Maybe you're doing Google ads, maybe you're doing networking groups. When they go to verify mm-hmm. that you are a real business, you have updated content on your social media platforms that validate you as a company. Mm-hmm. Okay. And there, there's, I, I wrote a book on this. There's five stages of social proof. Okay. Now, to have an almost five figure amount there to make social proof happen. Wow. Like maybe, maybe if you're in the fortune 500, right? I get it. Or you have like 500 locations or, or, or you really just have this massive marketing team that, that you're paying for. Right. Right. But, but if you're really getting close to those kind of numbers, you should probably be moving more towards lead generation and not social proof. Mm hmm. Right. Like th- there should be a bit more on the lead gen side than on the n- not so much the validation side, more on the I'm getting leads from my social media. Right. When you start getting to the five and six figure realm. Mm-hmm. And that's where I disagreed with this article. OK, you should be able to stay in the three and four digit realm for social proof. Yes. When you break into that five digit realm, that that should be lead generation. Mm-hmm. That should be that should be funnel building. That should be warming up leads. That should be moving people. People from cold to warm to hot leads. Like that's what that should be now. That should not be social proof. No. That's yeah, that's 
Mm-hmm. So just if you're out there and you're an entrepreneur and you're sitting here and you're like, well, you want to know what? I, I just I just need some social proof. Great. Call us. Let's have that conversation. Mm-hmm. Because if you read that article and you're like, I need $10,000 a month for social proof. No, you do not. No. That is that is so, so much more. You That is easily 10 X more than what you even should be even close to. Yep. Okay. So have that conversation with us because social proof is, is very specific and it's, it is, it is industry dependent as far as what you actually need to be doing. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's why, that's why people have us do it for them because we know what you need to be doing to be successful for social proof. And then what you need to ramp up to for lead generation. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's the first thing. That's the first thing and last thing. I mean, I got my marketing done. Yay, high fives. Whoop, <laughs> there we go. Okay, so we're, 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 we're going to talk about something here. And um, I read, I love reading. I love reading. You want to know what, parents? Make sure your kids read. Mm. I mean, not, not always, not always. See, what I don't like about videos is I have to watch a video on the video creator's time. Right. Like even I can move them up to like 1.2 or 1.3 speed, but I'm still I'm still subject to how fast the video creator talks. Mm -hmm. When I read, I can read as fast as I want. Nothing is holding me back. I can read as fast as I want and crunch through as much content as I want. Do you have a a reading a fast reading spell that you keep to yourself like? Do I have a fast there is reading a limit one? To how fast you can read. Yes, but it's just like anything else. You can develop it and you can make it faster. Mm. There are lots of speed reading courses out there. There's some free ones. There's some paid ones. Um, I've I've done three of them. Two were absolute garbage. <laughs> garbage. Eh, you want to know what? That was really that was really negative. That was very negative. <laughs> wow. Very very. Two did not resonate with face. Nick. Two did not resonate with me. Okay. One did. One did, and I love, I love speed reading. I love just crunching hmm. through the content. So we're going to talk about oil. And it was interesting because, you know, I think that everyone knows what I know. Like baby oil? No, like gasoline oil, like crude oh. oil, like oil that comes in off of tankers. Yeah. See, this again, this is why Lindsay's <laughs> so great. Like, I think everyone knows what I know. So I used to be a pollution investigator and what? facility inspector. Wait a minute. <laughs> what lifetime did you do this in? So, so while I was in the Coast Guard, um, yes, <laughs> I was a boarding officer. Like we did, we went and boarded vessels. Uh-huh. But when I wasn't doing that, I was a pollution investigator. So I've actually, I helped huh. on oil spills in the Gulf of Mexico. I helped um, on oil spills within the, um, within New Orleans, an oil spill that went down the river. Like I've done pollution investigation and I was also hmm. a facility inspector. So we would go and we would check s- facilities, make sure that, you know, their security was up to date, go look for, you know, breaches that people could easily, you know, go through and just make sure that they were doing their paperwork correctly. Like I had no idea that's part of a Coast Guard's job. Yes. Yes. <laughs> he, 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 so a lot of people huh. join the Coast Guard because it's that's the branch that helps protect the environment mm-hmm. on the water. Um, so it was it was. So I think that everyone understands crude oil the way I understand it. So here we go. You ready? No, because I you don't know? understand crude oil. Okay, so crude, crude <laughs> it comes oil. comes out of the ground. <laughs> yes, yes, it does. Yes, it does. It comes out yeah. of the ground. Okay. It was made from dinosaurs. <laughs> I don't know about that. That's all I know. <laughs> okay, so I, I'm going to let Lindsay own that one. Yeah. Um, but did you know that only like between 30 and 50% of a barrel of crude oil is actually turned into gasoline? Whoa. What happens to the rest of it? Plastics. Foam. Rubber. There's oil in all of that? This is all oil. Everything I'm holding right now is oil. How do you make it clear? I have no idea the process. I don't know that. I don't know that. But it, but, but it's, it's funny because, you know, people like, oh, crude oil this or crude oil that or it only affects my gas pricing. No, it affects everything. everything. It affects- is that part of why there's so much inflation going on right now? That is, well, I, I'm sure that is part of it. Um, I mean, like the prices of these things that were, you know, like all the cost. The price of your straw. Cost, 
the cost of uh, the milk jug is the milk, the milk jug, up, not just the the cow that's yes. producing the milk. It's the price of the milk jug. Well, and 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 to, to take it a step further back, right? Not just the price of the milk jug, the price of the plastic hose, the plastic of whatever little thing pulls the milk out, right? That's all plastic. Gross. No, no, but <laughs> I, I, <laughs> right, but it's all plastic. Your computer, it, the 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 microchips. Uh-huh. That are on the circuit board. That yep. circuit board is plastic. And it's made from And it's made oil. from oil. <gasps> wow. What in our life is not made? Is glass made from oil? I don't know. Glass is made from sand. What? <laughs> Wait, you, I, I don't, are you being serious right now? Yes. Yes, glass is made from sand. <laughs> Apparently, I didn't pay attention. I don't even know what class this would have been taught in. That's greatness. You're making my day right now. Okay. You're making me feel like so smart. So smart. <laughs> but here we go, right? Right. If, if you look behind me, if you look behind me, th- this print, mm-hmm. that's oil. Oil paint. That's oil paint. Well, I don't know about that, but. Yes. <laughs> yes. No, no. See, you, you, you have to understand this. Like there's, if you have anything that has a plastic element in it, that is from oil. Your microwave, your oven, you, the, maybe some of the clothes you wear if it's a polyester. I have more plastic in my house than I do in my vehicle. You do. It, let's go to your vehicle. All the plastic that's within your vehicle that you touch. Like the, the dashboard. Yes. The... That's all oil. Huh. So when you see the price of crude go up, it's not just affecting the gas pump prices. It's affecting the price of everything in our first world country because 90% of it is some form of plastic in it. Wow. Your plastic water bottle, oil. Oh, that, 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 that's why they say don't, don't leave plastic water bottles in the car because there's stuff that from the plastic that will leach into the water, right? That's oil. What? The plastic, the plastic that's holding your, your Coca-Cola or Dr. Pepper. That's oil. Huh? Okay. The plastic wrapper that goes around it. So that's that oil. You, you drink oil when you drink from a plastic container. If, if it is, if it has been in the heat and the plastic has been able to break down, been allowed to break down, you are, you are drinking oil. Oil byproducts that are inside that plastic. Huh. That can't be healthy. No. But so 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 you bring this, so you you, you bring this to the ocean. Yes, I have seen Sweet Home Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> so you bring this to the ocean and you have these fish that are ingesting, and you have these things that are ingesting these plastics, they're ingesting oil byproducts. Plastic is an oil byproduct. That's sad. What would oil do to your insides? We need Aquaman's brother to throw all the trash. <laughs> Maybe not. You want to what? You know. So, so there, there, there's actually there's a, there's a guy and he's built this barge, and it has and it actually helps scoop up oil. Mm-hmm. Okay, plastics, not oil. Sorry, I used the wrong. It actually scoops up plastics, and what they're doing is they're taking that, they're refine, they're re, uh, refine, re, refining it, refining. I almost said frying. <laughs> they're, refining they're refining it, refining it, uh-huh. and and they're turning it into asphalt for road for roads, uh-huh. and and they're melting it back down and using it for plastic. So they're actually creating, they're getting the plastics out from the oceans Yay. now, and they're actually reusing it. Good, but but hear me. When you see the price of crude go up, understand everything around you yes. is changing. The price of everything around you just got more expensive. Mm-hmm. Because it all comes from oil. So there's this like skewed perspective that people have on crude oil only affecting their cars. So even if we, if even if today everybody's car was electric like that, all the plastic is still coming from oil. All, we would still be needing oil. We would still be drilling. Absolutely. We would still be digging new. Absolutely. New, finding new reservoirs. Correct. Because everything is plastic. Your tires, oil. That's rubber. Plastic, rubber, or what? My styrofoam? Um, I don't know about... That's a great question. I don't know that part. Oh, you said, but the, it, but, you but, said but, it at the beginning. Oh, I did? Sorry. Yeah. But, okay, but check it. The, the, <clears throat> the asphalt on your road. Oil. Mixing with some rock. 
but what's binding it together? Oil. That's why when it rains here in Texas, the roads get super slippery because the rainwater brings out oil from the asphalt That's and it gets so super slippery when it first rains here in Texas. And I only say Texas, maybe that's in other states as well, but I'm saying Texas because I live and drive because in Texas. it's so hot here. And the heat brings out the oil. No, 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 the, the, the rain, the rain does. The rain? Yes. Well, so, 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 so maybe it's, it's the heat, it's the heat that, that kind of cooks it, right? But the rain, <laughs> because rain and water, <laughs> rain and water, rain and water are the same thing. Water and things. oil don't mix. Right. Right. And that's what it makes creates it slick. that super slick. So that's why d- driving when it first rains is when most of the accidents happen. Because now you have an oil, you have the you have the road, you now put this layer of oil, and now you put a rubber tire over it. And you put water. It's not the water, it's the oil. Hear me. Okay. It's the oil. The asphalt is leached out some oil. Okay. Why does the rain do that to the asphalt? Because water and oil don't mix. So wherever water goes, it has to remove oil. Why doesn't the water just run off the road? Have you ever washed dishes? Yes. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. And, and, And you've had oil in a pan. Yes. And you put water on it. What happens? It just slides right off. Slides right off. So why doesn't the water just no, no, slide no. right off the no, road? No, 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 no. Okay, no, the water slides right off. The oil will stay in the pan. That's why you have to use soap. So you need, every time it rains, we need to, we need to put. <laughs> 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 Did you see no, my brain just no, goes, <laughs> we are not yes, doing that. We need to we have, are not doing on that. cars, on cars, we need to have little bubble oh machines <laughs> that coat the tires. Yes, I love this idea. <laughs> I love this idea. But, but it's true. So so that's why when it rains, it brings that oil to the surface. And now your rubber tire is on is slippery on the on the oil, not so much the water. And that's why so many accidents happen in the beginning part of a rain than it does after it's been raining for a little while because it's kind of washed it all why away. Why can't we why can't we have it like like the windshield washer fluid? That would you want to what tires. some oh, soap so company, genius. some soap company would love it if every car was required to carry soap to clean the roads on their cars. They would make an absolute killing. No, I don't, it just goes on. It just one little squirt on your tire and it coats. No. Yes. Doesn't work that way. Yes. Does not work Let's that way. It. You are so funny. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So I think, just F- I think Isla would love this idea. <laughs> <laughs> bubbles! Yeah. Are you kidding me? Adults would love it. Oh, look at all the bubbles. So just FYI, it matters. And you could put little things oh on your gosh. car. <laughs> we are so going in the wrong direction right now. <laughs> it would blow bubbles past your window. That would be so great. <laughs> kind of like that car from home. That yes! As it drives, it blows. <laughs> yes, that's what I was actually thinking of. <laughs> <laughs> the kids would love it. Lindsay, I need you to develop this. And what we'll do is I'll buy a cheap car. We'll install it on the cheap car and we will test this. Um, I need Nolan for the developing. He's the engineer. I'm right. just the idea person. <laughs> oh, that is greatness. So hopefully you have a little laugh today. You've learned a little bit about oil. You've learned a little bit about marketing and you've learned a little about parenting. Now, now we're going to go. We're going to go because we have work to do. We're we have clients up. to take care of. Mm-hmm. We're going to rise up and crush it. <laughs> I want that shirt. Rise up and crush it. With so, Donkey Kong on it? I don't know. No, that's probably trademarked. I probably can't use that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but um, yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. So, hey, everyone. Thank you guys for tuning in today. Hope you guys have a great Tuesday. Make sure to bring your greatness today. You know, hopefully you've had a little laughter with us. Hope you got a little positive energy going on. All right, so just bring your greatness today. Know that you are loved. Know that you are prayed for. Make sure to comment. Make sure to like. That's how we know to pray for you. Yes, thank thank you for doing that. Right? So you have a great day. Rise up, and we'll see you all tomorrow morning. Bye.